my main hobbies and interests is trains. I love to see them and hear them. Steam trains, they give you a, a lovely display. They make a lovely sound as they're chugging towards you. And then they whistle and then you get a lovely sight, as the, especially in winter when the steam condenses and you get big clouds of steam and then when they come past you you get all the vibration you can feel the power and the chug 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 and I like riding on trains because um, it's, stress, it's less stressful than driving a car you just sit back and go to sleep and the train takes you where you're going at speed steam trains going through Soberbridge Cutting and you could see where they were by the steam. You couldn't see the engine but you could see the clouds of steam as it went up the cutting and you used to watch them and then you could hear the trucks clanking. They'd have a lot of trucks, one train, one engine would be pulling a lot of trucks and you'd hear them clanking as it set off and then stopped and they all go bang 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 into one another and then uh, when I was at grammar school, we were in prefabs, out, out, away from the main building, and I sat near the window, and you used to be able to look out of the window and see the steam train coming up the valley. It used to come over Copley Viaduct and up through Fall Lane Cutting, and then into Silverbridge Station, and stop. And I used to. It was more interesting watching that than listening to Latin teacher prattle on about the Romans went into the temple with their spears. This is, uh, we're stopped now at uh, Oakwood Station. This is the station made famous by the film The Railway Children. <laughs> Recently, there was the Flying Scotsman Month at the Keithley Worth for the Railway. The Flying Scotsman was here for a whole month. A lot of that time it was just mm -hmm. on display and people could go into the cab and have a look round. But then it also did some trips and people could ride on trains behind the Flying Scotsman. I took some videos of the flying scots were running up and down to keep the worth very line. I love trains, I like the I like the sounds that they make and the the feel as they go past, the vibration. Like steam trains, I love the I love the noise they make, chuk 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 chuk. I love the steam condensing in the atmosphere, big clouds of billowing steam and then as they come past you you feel the ground shake, you feel the power. And then diesels, well I like them, although they don't give you lots of steam, they do give you lots of vibration and lots of noise. You can feel the power in the right Like this one that's going past. You can feel the power. started filming steam trains in the early 1970s. I got a cine camera in 1969 but uh, steam trains had been scrapped 
off the national rail network. There weren't any steam trains allowed on the main line, but some steam trains were being preserved. Enthusiasts were raising money and buying them uh, from scrapyards, and then they were uh, renovating them and they started running them on the on on preserved railways on heritage railway lines. So I first started filming steam trains in the early 1970s. I filmed all sorts on cinefilm, including farming, animals, local area, industries, and family. Film steam trains on Super 8 Cinefilm Video 8 Videotape Mini DVD and on SD cards um, HD 1080 on SD cards. I took some Cinefilms in the early 1970s but then when, uh, when I got married and I had family responsibilities, that came first and uh, I, didn't, I didn't really do much uh, cine film and video, just, just a little bit between like May 1970s and, and 2015 when I retired. Now that I am retired, I usually come to the Keith and Worthfire Railway on a Sunday and I film any steam trains that are running and also take some video of diesel trains that are running. What, what I like about the Sunday steam trains routine is that because because I'm on my own, there's only me to think about. If I want to stand at a certain spot for three quarters of an hour to wait for a train to film it, then I can do it. I'm not going to think about uh, anybody else who's going to be whack if I don't. I don't have the same interest and patience with steam trains. So I like to, uh, I like to come to the railway I like to have my lunch in the cafe at Elf and then I like to make my way to the various stations on the line and watch the steam trains and usually film them as well. I try and vary the, the films by varying the location, varying which engine I'm filming and then try and get different angles and different types of weather like filming them in sunshine, filming them in snow, filming them in fog, to try and give a bit of variety. And uh, recently I've started doing mainly handheld, rather than having the camera fixed on the tripod, I, I own it and then film it coming towards me. And then I walk, walk up the train, the length of the train, and then at the other end film the engine setting off all freehand because my, cam my camera has optical image stabilisation so it counteracts any movement, any swaying in your hands. People should give steam engines a try. They should go to a Go to a railway that's running steam trains and stand on the platform at a safe distance from the edge and then see and hear a steam engine come past and the noise, the sight of the steam, the smell of the coal burning on the steam and the vibration as it, as it comes past them. And they, they, they love it. If they don't love it, then there's nothing lost. If they do love it, then they can uh, have occasional visits to steam railways.
I hope people enjoy watching my videos on YouTube.